Hello. Today, some time ago, I made a video of a time when I went to stay at a ryokan in the eastern region of Japan with my family. A traditional Japanese hotel is called a ryokan in Japan. A ryokan is a place where you can stay the same as a hotel, but it is a traditional Japanese accommodation with mainly Japanese-style rooms. The meals served in ryokans are often made from traditional local dishes and seasonal ingredients, so it is an opportunity to experience the culture. From Tokyo Station, we will take the Shinkansen to the Tohoku region. We plan to eat lunch on the Shinkansen, so we will arrive at Tokyo Station a little early and look for a bento. There are not only bentos but also many souvenirs and other items for sale in Tokyo Station, so it is fun just to look around. Now it's time to go to the Shinkansen platform. The Shinkansen departs on time, so you have to make sure you don't miss your train. Each seat has a table, just like on an aeroplane. Now, I'm going to have lunch. I chose a nori bento. This is an eel bento. This is a salmon bento.
After getting off the bullet train and sightseeing, we finally arrived at the Ryokan. Ryokan rates are per person, not per room. It was 16,500 yen per person for two days and one night, including dinner and breakfast. This is the main square where everyone can relax. We have checked in and are now on your way to your room. In Rio Cans, no shoes are allowed in the rooms. You must take off your shoes at the entrance. In Rio Cans, there are sweets in the room as a service. This is meant as a service, but the main reason is to prevent you from going into the onsen and collapsing while your blood sugar is still low. It refers to the phenomenon or place where hot water gushes out of the ground or the hot water itself, and the temperature of the water is 25 degrees Celsius or higher. Many ryokan have large baths, bathing facilities using hot spring water, where the bathrooms are large and can be used by a large number of guests at the same time. It is not possible to enter the baths and swimming wear, so they are separated for men and women. Also, please note that cameras are not permitted in the bath facilities. The water temperature is a little hotter than average, around 40 degrees. When Japanese people visit an onsen ryokan, they often end up soaking in the hot water on an empty stomach for a long time, which can lead to anemia. In Rio cans, tea and hot water are provided instead of coffee and other drinks. Now I will have tea and the sweets. Manju. It is delicious with white bean paste inside. Now I'm going to the hot spring before dinner. In many ryokans, dinner is brought to your room, but here you are supposed to have your meal in your room.
When you return to your room, a futon is laid out. At Rio Cans, futons are laid out by employees as a service. Yesterday it was too dark to see the view down from the window, but there is a river flowing below. The room also has a bath. The bathtub is made of cypress and smells very nice. Before breakfast, I would like to take a short walk and go back to the hot spring. The entrance to the baths is divided like this, with the red one on the women's side and the blue one on the men's side. After bathing in the hot springs, be sure to remember to rehydrate yourself. You can drink tea and water here for free. Breakfast is buffet style. Japanese food is the main course.
Thank you for watching. See you again.